دوستان عزیز سلام امروز اومدیم خیابون کوبایی های میامه این محله محله کوبایی هاست اکثر کوبایی هایی که مهاجرت کردن به میامه تو این محله زندگی میکنن که بهش میگن لیتل کوبا یعنی کوبایی کوچیک و دوستان این ایر بی ام بی میامه اون بودش که الان داریم ترکش میکنیم دو تا تراس بزرگ کلن دیوار نداشت همه شیشه بود طبقه دوم یه ویوی عالی این هم یکی دیگه تراسا بود و اینجا هم ویوی عالی خیابونای شهر میامه منطقه سات بیچ این سیبایی این هم چک کنم اجار از شیری و یه اتاق خواب دیگه اربی هم یه فوقلاده ای بود خودودم برای چهار شبش در اومد هشتصد دلار آمریکا و به این شکل ویری گود Compared to yesterday, it's better. I think yesterday was hotter. دوستان عزیز سلام امروز اومدیم خیابون کوبایی های میامه این محله محله کوبایی هاست اکثر کوبایی هایی که مهاجرت کردن به میامه تو این محله زندگی میکنن که بهش میگن لیتل کوبا یعنی کوبایی کوچیک و اکثرا مردم کوبا هستن مغازه ها اکثرا کوبایی دستفروش های کوبایی 
و سیگار کوبایی که خیلی معروف تو دنیا اینجا میفروشن و انواع اقسام لوازم، لباس ها و خوراکی های کوبایی که توی رستوران های کوبایی به شما میدن و میتونید لذت ببرید مخصوصا کافی های کوبایی که خیلی معروف قهوه کوبایی توی این مغازه‌ای که بویس سر من میبینید سرو میشه یه محله کوچیکیه که اکثرا کوبایی هن و خیلی جالبه اکثر آدم با تور میان اینجا تور لیدر دارن و تور لیدر ها توضیح میدن برای مردم همونطور که پشت سر من میبینید این آقا کوباییه و داره برای توریست ها توضیحاتی رو میگه این هم محله لیتل کوبا در میامه مسابقات دومینام چیه اسم این بازی؟ So 
خونه سیگار در لیتل کوبای میامی Why? Because this cigar, this tobacco leaf, is actually really mild, but at the same time it's sweet. That's why people enjoy this. It's not the strong aroma coming from a regular cigar. So guys, all around here we find also these beautiful boxes. But let me tell you, this is one of the very few places in Florida that you can find the boxes made with a Spanish cedar wood, which is the very best precious wood working as a natural humidor. You can see also these beautiful humidors down here, also very expensive. But if you have one of these boxes, you're good. Because let me tell you that inside your home, snow is put to a different temperature of humidity. Those cigars can remain fresh for a minimum of three years. So you don't need to have one of these. But now it's time to see the two most famous sizes of all cigars. Let's start over here. This is number one. The ones we name as Robustos. Yeah, sure. That's why people appreciate that much because you don't really need to be smoking for a long time. But for sure, the most famous size of all cigars is right here. For two reasons. Number one is on the name, Churchill's. Because Winston Churchill used to request this size for me to smoke from Havana. But second is even more famous because of the character on a movie that I'm sure all of you have seen. Because you, for sure, remember the famous Tony Montana star face. This is the one he was smoking on people, not to show off just like him. Guys, in this store we can find one more cigar which is a little bit bigger. You see this? <laughs> this is a real cigar. Yes, it is. And if you don't believe me, you find that cigar right there on the top, waiting for me. One day I'm gonna smoke that cigar. Now, little by little, guys, everybody start coming over here. 
And yes, you need to meet one of the largest experienced Cuban cigar rollers here in Florida. Go closer. This is the mummy we recommend for you to use your cameras for pictures and videos because it's not easy to find a master rolling cigars in front of your eyes. Dahlia, Cuban. She has been doing this is a job for only 27 years. And I need all of you guys to say hello to her the only possible way. So please, everybody, put your hands together and give a round of applause to Dahlia. <laughs> Cuban cigars are the most expensive and famous cigars around the world because of so many reasons. The first one, the conditions that we find in Cuba. Everything is so special for the tobacco to grow. We are talking about temperature, humidity, all the conditions are there very special, but also everything coming from the experience of a large time of the Cuban growers involved in this process. Let me tell you that first, everything part of a Cuban cigar is going to be totally handmade. We are going to use no machines, making a bit different from some other countries. Some other countries, they actually have very good leaves but they prefer to have a larger production and then the quality is not the same. We go small production, but the quality is really high. Why? Because the experience coming from this. Inside of a cigar, you find several leaves. Each one of them is providing something different to the cigar. Strength, aroma, combustion. And yes, they're gonna be totally handmade. They're gonna be prepared one by one. And that's the moment they need to come right here to these molds. You see? When the molds are full and ready, they need to be covered, looking like this one, and that's exactly the moment they need to come right here to the presses, like the one I have next to me. They need to be pressed for a few hours, as the only way for them to keep the shape. Then, return it to the table, which is the moment you are enjoying right now. She's adding the final leaf, the wrapper, the one outside, a very flexible leaf providing the opportunity for her to stretch that one to the maximum and providing the amazing look you have right in front of you. In a day, Ada was working, someone like her, a master with such a large experience, she can roll totally handmade between 120 to 180 cigars. So the average every day is around 150, correct? So help me with a simple math. She has been working for 27 years, six days a week. And the average of 150 cigars, how many cigars she has rolled so far? That's always the right answer, a lot. But if you want to have an idea, she's about to reach 1.3 million. Wow. So for sure she can roll a cigar with her eyes closed and it's going to be perfect anyways. My friend.
Hamza yom yom bir dur. Yo, bu son moro kurus tarafına. Çoğalan da öyle. <gülüyor> 